Welcome everybody, it's Webster Style Brian Sapp from the NRW Checkpoint here for another NRW React. And Brian, yes. are you a Godzilla fan? Yeah, I would say so. I have fond memories of the big big lizard. Okay. Everything yeah. except for that 98 movie, I'm good with. You see, that's everything. crazy you said that. Because I like the 98 movie. That's that's the movie that got me hip to Godzilla. I I was intrigued about the whole it can reproduce asexually type situation and had the babies and all that stuff like that. Especially growing up on Jurassic Park, I was like, this is a nice little spin on this thing. So ah, now that I'm hearing or <laughs> right, I, I think older, we have to reevaluate our friendship, man. I really do. We <laughs> no, have to re you know saying, <laughs> as I get older, <laughs> as I get older, I, I'm, I'm realizing like that was like the, the not the not the best one of like uh, any of us. Probably that, the worst that was literally the bastardized American version. Of <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's like, uh, <laughs> but I'm still I still like guys. I know the I'm I'm aware of Godzilla. And all of this, the gloriousness that it is, and I, I probably want to see like the old old movie that came out, like that kicked everything off. Yes. But um, the original ones are great. If, if, I'm not as familiar with all of the different sort of eras of Godzilla. I think the last one was like the Shin Godzilla sort of okay. eras in Japan, and of course mm -hmm. we've had our much better American Godzilla movies in the right. past ten years okay. or so. Mm -hmm. Well, Godzilla is back in Japan with a new series, and it is Godzilla minus one. In post-war Japan, a new terror arises. So this is like a reimagining of the Godzilla uh, mythos. So you're going back to after no, World it. War II. Uh, Godzilla, excuse me, new terror rises. Godzilla will a devastation. The, excuse me, will the devastated people be able to survive? <laughs> Let alone fight back. Written and directed by Takashi Yawan Yarnanzaki. And I'm butchering okay. it and I apologize, uh, <laughs> Yarnanzaki son. Um, in theaters <laughs> nationwide, December 1st, 2023. Let, let's watch this bad boy. Yeah, let's. Okay. He did the effects too. Yeah, I was about to say, like, he, he, this is his movie what through and through. Wow. Oh, okay. なんで俺たちこんなところに呼ばれたんですか政府は本情報を国民に伏せていますI'm going to see you that got boy. To see it got to see it in IMAX. Yeah. Got to. Ain't no other way around it. I am glad that... Now, I am not as familiar with like the, some of the different genres or eras of Godzilla. But to my understanding from some of the film reviews and stuff I've watched, I don't think a lot of or any of the newer films mm -hmm. kind of go back to post-war Japan. Okay. And Which, I think... Yeah, By doing sense. that, you go back to that fallout from the bomb, mm -hmm. bombs, that really was the birth of Godzilla. So yeah. now you're going back to a Japan, which is maybe a few years removed from having two atomic bombs dropped on them. And now you have this creature come up from the sea that essentially was born from the fallout of that. So again, you mm -hmm. go from zero to minus when Godzilla shows up. 
Yeah. Okay. That I'm, makes, I'm feeling that. You know, I am as well. I, and I'm really uh, interested in seeing this. I like something about like Japanese storytelling. Oh, I mean, yeah, it remind me a lot of anime. But like when they do their live action stuff, something about it is really like endearing. I like that it's different from like the way we do movies here. Like their mm-hmm. their special effects, there's a little bit of cheese to it, but at the same time, it's a little bit of the aesthetic is also very like they do their best the best they can to make it feel like this is a real like this is real. This is this yeah. happened to yeah. us. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. I, I feel it. It was realistic. Yeah, the real yes, the realistic. Like it's a bunch of realism there, and. Mm-hmm. I'm really excited to see it. Like I, I think this is gonna be. I don't know. I hope they. I hope they like you know continue on with it because yeah. you know Godzilla. Then he got friends, and then they be fighting and stuff like that. You it's know, we talked about right. Like let's let's keep it going. I'm, I'm I want to understand, or at least I want to become more familiar with the way that being that you know Godzilla is and this is Japanese like. Not folklore, but you know it's their, it's their thing. That's their mm-hmm. property. They they put that out into the world. I want to just understand it more from their standpoint, like how they right. view it, like what they got. Because you know they did. You, you you made a good point. They Americanized like crazy <laughs> Godzilla when they brought it over here. And I don't. I think because <laughs> they made it like oh, like I don't know. He, he's just supposed to be a monster. He's big. He terrorizing things, and he like you know I'm here and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. They brought it over here and it was like, oh, you know, he's a nice giant. Like he just wanted his kids <laughs> back and things like that. I, was like, I don't right. know. Cause I don't think he cared about humans like that. <laughs> but right, exactly. he might. Either way, I'm down for this. This looks great. I like that they, like I said, took it to Japan, kind of giving us like a, not, not an origin story, but like a different spin on the origin story. Yeah. I, I like that. Like, just give us something else, like a different angle on it. Right. That's going to be fire. That's going to yeah. be really good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So yeah. that's our take on, on Godzilla Minus One dropping in theaters December 1st, 2023. You're here with Nerds of the World. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at the NLW, on Instagram at New Release Wins. And of course, you're currently on YouTube. So make sure you like, share, and of course, above all else, subscribe.